everyone, here's a Courtney here. Happy New Year. Hope you've had a great Christmas and New Year and that you haven't piled on too much weight. It's uh, actually, it's just a very cool and wet January day. And my blog this week, before I get started on the main point of it, I want to tell you about an article that appeared, I think it was in late December, and it was, it was actually on the front page of the Times newspaper, which I felt so disappointing, and in many other um, outlets in the media. And the headline ran something like, taking vitamins regularly could kill you. And once you get into the body of the text, um, you realize that this was another analysis done by a Serbian scientist uh, at Copenhagen University Hospital. And I forgive the professor if I get his name wrong, but it's a Goran Bialakovic. And it's really important for us, the public, and for the consumers to understand that this was not a new study. All he was doing was doing an analysis of studies that were done a long time ago on pharmaceutical grade synthetic vitamins and supplements. And there was one headline in the Times said that um, this study also found that if you take beta carotene supplements, you could actually die early. And this referred back to a very old study when um, these doctors were using synthetic isolated beta carotene um, that was derived from petroleum and the people that were on the trial they didn't check their diet they didn't check their state of health they just knew that some of the people on that trial died whilst they also happened to be taking a synthetic nutrient why am I not surprised that these people died I mean the human body is made of vitamins, minerals, essential fats, carbohydrate, light, air and water. If we don't ingest sufficient nutrients from our diet, then we will become deficient. You are made of vitamins and minerals, but the point is supplements are made to be just that, to supplement a healthy, balanced diet. But how many people are actually getting a healthy, balanced diet? And then when we take into account that a lot of people who rush around all the time are actually not absorbing a lot of the nutrients from their diet. So I want to make it really clear that this was not new science. This was an analysis of old studies that were done on synthetic nutrients and vitamins. This is so important for people to get. So if you're going to take a carotene supplement, for instance, lycopene, it's, it's a major um, a nutrient for any man to take because lycopene helps protect the prostate. Uh, vitamin B12 for older people, you know, vitamin D3 can help reduce cancer. There are hundreds of thousands of studies that show that when people take good quality food state nutrients that they can reduce the incidence of cancer, reduce the in incidence of inflammatory diseases which are associated with aging. And so it's really important that when you read these types of headlines that you understand you're not necessarily reading new science. So that's my soapbox for this morning. Anyway, um, just to let you know that um, my new uh, Living Better News is now online. If you'd like to subscribe, it's perfectly free. And in this month's, well, it's January to March actually, but I've dealt with um, late onset diabetes and why so many thin people, as well as obese people, are also developing late onset diabetes. And you'll be surprised to know it's to do with your liver and stress, high, high levels of stress. And so um, that's a very interesting article about how to avoid late onset diabetes and how stress can actually contribute to um, that condition. Um, I've also uh, given you lots of ways to avoid uh, contracting late onset diabetes and I've added a new self-help sheet which is perfectly free to the site. Um, I've also done a great article on the new thinking on LDL cholesterol. 
Now until recently HDL cholesterol has been considered the healthy cholesterol and LDL is being considered the bad cholesterol. But it turns out that LDL only becomes a problem when it oxidizes. When you peel an apple and you leave it open to the air, it turns brown, it oxidizes. And this is basically what happens to the cells in our body and to LDL cholesterol. And so if you want to know lots of ways to avoid having your LDL oxidize, then I hope you'll also read the newsletter. I've also included some really interesting information on essential fats. Um, your brain is made 60% of fat, but you need to eat more of the right types of fats. Omega-3s, 6s and 9s. But there's now some great research, good research, showing that an excess of omega-6 fats is triggering inflammation. And that's because you're supposed to take omega-6-3 fats in a certain ratio for good health, approximately 2 to 1. But the ratio has now changed enormously because omega-6 fats are found in margarines, cakes, seeds, pies, mass-produced chickens, all sorts of foods. And so in the newsletter I've explained how to raise your omega-3 levels so that you don't end up with these problems of inflammation. You can also read as to why mung beans are so incredibly healthy and they help lower LDL cholesterol. And finally, there's a great um, astrology reading from my girlfriend called Linda Joyce, who lives in New York. Great astrologer. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the newsletter and I'll see you again in April. <music>